Yes, William Shawcroft, he, he was one of the founders of, 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 of schooling and certainly something to do with the, the, the Baptist Church and in, in readiness and that sort of thing. He certainly helped to I me, mean, but he, he did, he taught people to read and write and he, he was a famous, and he used to, after he walked to Nottingham to deliver his stuff and and back again, he was a, a very, very well to do, well, uh, very helpful man to, for, for people. He, uh, he uh, helped uh, on learning people to do a read and write. And as far as we know, they say that it was off Green Lane somewhere where he had a, a room and that sort of thing till the till the, the Baptist chapel was built and and then as far as I know the Baptist chapel was was originally started in eighteen uh, early eighteen hundreds and I think I think some in some things it's down at eighteen o six for a uh, start of it in uh, and the Baptist Chapel, but whether it was quite as early as that, we don't know. I'll well, tell you what. Um, there is a history of the Friar Lane Baptist Church. Great thick tome. Yeah. And it, one of the chapters is about him and the founding of the Reading's Baptist Church, and there's a picture in a there of him. So oh. that's how I found out about oh, that, it. Oh, yes. But uh, there's one or two other people that are associated with Friar Lane because yeah. at the time there wasn't a Baptist church in Derby at all. No. Um, but obviously Friar Lane had been going for quite a long time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you carry on. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you, well, I say he, he was a very good man because there, there is a a memorial to William Shawcroft in Riddings Churchyard. Oh, is there? Oh, yes, a, a proper memorial, a, a, possibly six foot high. I will go and have a look at that. Oh, yeah, yes, there's a, a proper memorial to, to, to William. Because um, he was a well-respected man, was Oh, he, very he well. Yeah, and, and the, <clears throat> the other person that, that, that did help him, I mean, if you read some of the books, that was... was uh, Mrs. Silverwood, the the the, the, the wife of, of the uh, manager at Ironworks, she 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 uh, she, she was uh, uh, one that that, that helped uh, um, with with the children and that sort of thing with with t teaching and that. Yeah. Mm. In this book, oh, fuck's sake, I've got the mouth full. In this book, the Friday in Baptist Church, it says that it was started in the barn. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Is that, have you heard that? Well, no, I've not heard of that, no. Okay. You see, that tells you there about uh, about what I mean, I'm sure I've got mm. two here and, mm. and there, let's see. Can yeah. you just read that out? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 1813. The Riddies Baptist Church on High Street, William Shawcroft, raised £42 in Nottingham towards the £261 cost of the chapel, which was part of Swanwick Baptist Church. The chapel was enlarged in 1833, perhaps with the addition of a Sunday school. Ridden, Swanwick and Riddens had 191 members in 1847 when the Riddens Chapel split off uh, to become a church in its own right on the 25th of June under the Reverend Isaac Davis Riddens. <clears throat> retained a strong link with Swanwick and new Swanwick burial ground in the 1851 religious census, Riddens, particularly the Baptist Church, 
had 340 seats of which 136 were rented. The morning congregation was attended by 150 uh, <clears throat> the morning Sunday school by 107 and the afternoon Sunday school uh, by 40 and, and some of the evening services and all day Sunday school. The, mem the, the church membership was 122 and the minister was John P. Barnett and the deacon was John Knight Church. Income was from the rented pews with no collection as it was as was the common as was under the minister of W. Cake. Um, Riddings had ninety five members but still some debts owed on the building costs. That's, uh, that's the main thing it says about it, isn't it? And, uh, and, uh, what's it? Because uh, it does say a bit about your uh, your, your uncles in there now. Oh, your dad, uh, yeah, Bernard and Norman, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's just a bit, there's a bit there, you see, carries on. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. Where what I go and that's it told us told you see because we're trying to compile a, a, some stuff for making a book for bidding. Oh, are you? Mm. Okay. But you see, I'm not very good at it. But this, the the chap who's done some of this is uh, he's very clever. They see uh, uh, Graham Clark. He is he, he does some good some research and he certainly has got some books on. Uh, the churches of Derbyshire. Oh, is he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so... Because uh, I know Bernard went out to India, uh, to Calcutta, before the first, Second World War, yeah, yeah. but I didn't know what date, and this was 1933, so I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I understood it was 31, but I mean, it's, no, it's round about 31 is Norman, 31. Oh, no, oh, no, yeah, 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 no, Norman, but yeah. no, what my father did, he, he went out to, um, yeah, I, I might, he went out, yeah. uh, initially to, uh, as a businessman, or he, no, he was a print rep, yeah, yeah, and he had a job going and selling printing blocks, oh, yeah, yeah, that the firm made in Calcutta yeah, yeah. to other presses oh, right. all over Calcutta, yeah. Yeah. and mm -hmm. one of his. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, one of his customers was Baptist Mission Press. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he actually stayed at the uh, minister's house, yeah. the manse behind the church, mm -hmm. and that was his board and lodging, so yeah. that was yeah. his uh, mm -hmm. bed sitter. Yeah. So yeah. he stayed, and then the war broke out, yeah. and then the guy that looked after Baptist Mission Press while he was away, mm -hmm. fighting the war, mm -hmm. and when he came back, mm -hmm. he was just fed up, because he wasn't, uh, you know, he looked after the press all through the war, mm. and the other people just came back as if nothing had happened. Yeah. So yeah. he went back to England, and mm. my, they needed a new assistant, and yeah. that's when my father became the assistant, and yeah. that's when I went out mm. when I was a year old. So yeah. that's how it all happened. Yeah. But he felt comfortable because he'd already lived in Calcutta. He mm. knew Calcutta. He knew Baptist yeah. Mission Press. Mm. So he wasn't as um, homesick as Norman was when he went out. No, no. But Norman was 21. He was really young. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. is young for a missionary. Yeah, that yeah. Is.